This my man and I'm sticking by him. <laughs> Yeah, I wanna see all my people win, and we know that. I love you, then I got you to the end, and you just know that. Everybody used to show me love, where it go at? I was born to shine, I speak my mind and get that glow back. Greetings, my Kendras. Welcome back to another video. But first and foremost, if you are new, welcome. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell notification button too, so that way you don't miss out on another upload. Now, let's get into the details of this wig that I'm installing right now. As you notice from the beginning of the video, this video is sponsored by Love Me Hair. This is their 13 by 4 undetectable lace front wig. Now, what's so unique about this wig is Afro-inspired. So it has this yakky, kinky, edges type 4C textured hair. The wig itself is more so of a yakky, kinky straight, but the edges come in a 4C natural edge-like texture, which I think is pretty awesome. As you can tell, the lace, when it says undetectable, is definitely undetectable. I did eventually use some foundation to kind of blend out the lace more to match my skin tone but other than that this install was super easy i did not bleach the knots this is how the wig naturally came i did do a little bit of plucking to the hairline and customizing the hairline but literally that is about it um so yeah i'm gonna let you guys go ahead and watch me install this wig and give you guys my final thoughts towards the end I did not bleach the knots um, I did go ahead and use some concealer to define that part area and I can't believe that I used to go so long without doing this part I used to always somehow say screw it and skip that part but please don't do that because it definitely gives that flawless install sleek look when you define your part of your install but yeah i went ahead and decided to curl my hair using my hot tools curling iron that i got from alta i'll leave it linked down below and it definitely holds the curl very well i think it's because of the texture of the hair it being that yaki straight texture it holds curls very 
very very well it's like everlasting honestly but yeah i think that this came out so beautiful and so stunning it's definitely giving me leave out sewing you part install quick leave install is so beautiful and so flawless if i had to rate this wig from love me hair from one to five i'm definitely giving it a five it's so natural and so beautiful so yeah i'm gonna be doing a wig flash sale very 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 soon so i'm gonna leave a link down below as well for you guys to register your email so that way you don't miss out on this upcoming flash sale this wig is definitely going to be listed as well so yeah you definitely don't want to miss out on this Okay, so I made it to Virginia <laughs> once again. I think I just be needing it. I really do. And my mom's outside getting some work done and having a cigar and drinking her cocktail. And I am about to be Chef Boardie in the kitchen today. So um, she said she got some lamb chops that she wants me to cook. My lamb chops be that good that my mom won't be making lamb chops. So that's what I'm about to do right now. And then I'm about to look in the refrigerator to see what they got in here that I can cook up for some She don't want to admit it, but she jocked the idea, but it's so cute. And I love how she added these um, light pictures. What do they call them? Light sources? So cute. This is where all the goodies, this is where all the goodies is at. My favorite to add into my cocktail. It's just a syrup from the Marchino cherries. Hard market research telling me that 70% of people like seeing animals doing people stuff. I don't know. How can you do that to me for anything? I'm a sellout because I've succeeded. You're a sellout because you turned your back on where you come from. Looking down on me and wasting your whole life worrying about what white people think. I should never look down on you. And grateful for everything that you've ever given me, but your life isn't the life that I see for my son. Yeah, well, it makes sense. Nobody Perfect. Cheers to a safe flight and um, a bomb a dinner tonight. Okay. <laughs> Already ate. He heated up, he heat up some old food. So he still got some. He still got some in there. Just rice and lamb chops. Oh, not spinach because it had mushrooms in it. Oh, did he? Did he? I, no, I put it over there. He said right. he wasn't hungry. He just ate. Yeah. But he said he'll eat it later. I'm about to shoot. I'll take your shit to work with me, Look, he look like twins. Mm -hmm. Why not? Why not? Was on damn food. No. <laughs> <laughs> they got their out this weekend. I sure am. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I 
Let's show ears, honey. They're nice and tender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're tender. Mm-hmm. You know her. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you like your food. <laughs> Get her plate. You see my plate? <laughs> yes, <laughs> chef. Let me eat some meat right there. There ain't no meat that's fat. What about lamb chop? I made her eat up all her eggs too. Almost. Nope. Almost. You're still working on your ass, but oh, look at that. You're such a sophisticated eater. You said what? <laughs> what you say? To oh, she had that tink tink. Come here, tink tink. trying to get this referral approved um so i was yeah i'm trying to basically reschedule my appointment that was scheduled today at noon um till next week hopefully but yeah everyone knows that the va takes a very 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 long time and they drag their feet but yeah um i am about to wash my edges because my edges look a mess yeah, my edges look a mess, so I'm about to um, wash my edges. I don't feel like washing my entire head, so I'm literally just going to. <laughs> I'm literally just going to wash my edges, but 
Okay, so I did see um, two girls actually now on um, TikTok, black girls who are doing self tanning and it makes their skin look so good and even tone. So maybe I could do self tanning and they do it on their face too. So maybe I can do some self tanning on my face so that way everything is even. I think that makes sense. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find out what self tanning product that they use and apply it to my face so that way I don't have this going on because I do want to like give my hair a break sometimes not all the times because I love me a good wig but sometimes and you know and wear my natural hair out or wear like a traditional sewing or something or you part wig but it's kind of hard doing that when you got a damn tan on your forehead so yeah um but to be shampoo and conditioner my hair i'm going to be using the this i can't pronounce it shampoo and conditioner yeah i just got a lot of build up of like the holding spray and edge edge control and it's just giving dusty and we don't want that today i also plan on recording like my on the go shower routine so i'm going to be using their shower because their shower is so cute <laughs> to record that but basically me using like travel size products and stuff for the most part and then what else i have to do a trial haul today so i'm going to be doing a trial haul as well and then since i'm going to be since my hair and makeup is going to be done i'm going to try to get a picture in no i'm not going to try to get a picture in i'm going to get a picture in and maybe i can do a reel somehow i just gotta think of something I just gotta think of something. A picture and a real. Mm, and it just feels so good. My scalp is so dry as well. I might have to just take some. I just don't want my hair to be heavy. But I'm gonna have to. Actually, coconut coconut oil is not heavy. I could take some coconut oil and put it on my scalp to relieve it from it being dry. But I just feel like my scalp soaks up everything. Coconut oil is so light. That I know by tomorrow my scalp will be dry again. <laughs> but that's okay. That just means that you're going to have to... Um, take... Oh, this smells so good. This stuff smells too good. I don't want the water falling all over my, my uh, arms and stuff. This stuff really works. All right, your date of birth, address, and telephone number? 0531. Are you staying with any COVID symptoms at the moment? No, ma'am. Now, uh, there is an appointment at a system for July the 20th, but I don't know if that's the one they rescheduled for you. No. Is something going on with you now? You're trying to uh, make an appointment before that time, Ms. Taylor? Yes, my July appointment was just a regular um, primary care like checkup, and then um, okay. this one was specifically for a referral. Okay, now you can re you can request a referral without going to make an appointment. Well, what type of uh, consult were you trying to make? Um, this one was for my. I've already did that as well. Um, but yeah, I've already put in a um a request for a consult. This was for my jaw. Um, I had a fractured jaw and I had surgery. Um, but the According, they had referred me to Grady for the surgery, and I had the procedure. This was a year and a half ago, but now they needed to take the. Um, they they did an emergency procedure where they needed to take the plates and screws out because they were infected, but they couldn't use the same referral from last time because it was expired. Right. So they okay. had to do the procedure, but I also need for the referral. If that makes sense. Okay, uh, hold on, I'll let you know what I need to do. All right, Ms. Taylor, I'll forward the message over to your primary care. Let them know you need a renewal for that uh, community care uh, remo remo removal. Um, and... Um, only thing I would suggest that that's, that'll be the steps that you have to take. Just give us a call back, make sure it's in there, and then we can take the next step, okay? Okay, thank, yeah. thank you so much. All right. Thank you. We enjoy talking to you. Enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <sighs>
<sighs> I think everything is just a process. I'm trusting the process, even though this is a very long process. I'm trusting the process, okay? I'm trusting the process because it's literally all I can do. Now I'm about to rinse out this conditioner, blow dry my hair, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then we're going to hop in the shower and do some content. Sabi girl no they too like talk Animals they in human form And the man nobody like talk But you must walk for me in one chair You know finish them all fight for Them they run them no <laughs> The fact that I just went through hell Cause this was like my first time trying to record B-roll separately From actually doing the actual um activity so that was a lot for me that is hard oh my god so i've been spending basically it's been an hour and 20 minutes that i spent trying to get some clips that's probably gonna add up to like 40 seconds <laughs> seriously trying to get some b-rolls and like just like just so that way my like video would be more aesthetically pleasing Y'all, it's a lot. It's a lot. So I'm, I'm in the middle of trying to record a um, shower, like a travel shower routine because I'm not home and you can't take your bathroom like when you travel. So I have like a shower travel, a travel shower routine. So I'm in the middle of trying to record that and like a mini like get ready with me for a productive day type of situation. So literally doing that took me an hour and 20 minutes. So I gotta figure something out like my little light is going dead so I'm in the middle of charging it right now before I can actually get in the shower and record that process so I'm waiting for that to charge up um so that way I can have a little bit of extra light I'm in my parents bathroom right now because their shower is like the bomb.com and um yeah so that's what I'm doing right now in the meantime I did get a hold of the VA they called me back one of the nurses called me back and like I guess she just wanted more information regarding the referral that I was talking about so she got it she finally got it so she was just like your primary care doctor should be calling you soon you know if not today then Monday because today is Friday so yeah, at least that was taken care of. But after this, um, I do need to do that try on haul. So I'm going to be doing my makeup a little bit and fixing my hair up. And then doing that try on haul that you guys should have seen before seeing this vlog. But maybe you've seen it, maybe you didn't. But you missed an out if you did. Because that's one of the places that I be getting my cute little pieces that I post on Instagram. Y'all be like, oh my god, where you get this sweater from? Oh my god, where you get this set from? If you watch my videos, you know. Anyways, um, yeah, so, <laughs> that's that. I don't want my camera, I noticed that my camera only lets me record like five minutes at a time, which I don't like, because my Canon didn't do that. My Canon let me record at least 25, 30 minutes at a time. I say about 28 minutes straight without shutting off. This baby stops recording after like five minutes. I'm like, bro, are you serious? And then, if I keep pressing like record after I notice that it went off, Maybe after like the sixth time that I hit record, it's going to tell me it's overheating. I don't like that. We don't have to fix something out about that because anyway, I got time for that. That's another reason why this took me so long because I, I was recording and didn't even realize that it wasn't even recording. So I got to like now add that to my list of things to do while recording. Pay attention to the red light. So annoying. But um. Yeah, I'm going to turn my camera off so that way we can save some juice because, yeah, we're trying to get through the day. It's already 1.30, well, almost 1.30 in the afternoon. <laughs>
two days later because yesterday I spent my day recording content. I recorded my like on the go shower routine and my parents left today because they went on a cute little road trip and they wanted me to dog watch which is why I'm here for the weekend. Anyways, so it's now the end of the day because I spent the majority of my day editing. It's 8 o'clock. I'm about to spark up the hookah. That's what I'm about to do. I'm about to make me a hookah and I'm about to make me some dinner and I'm about to make me a drink and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to finish editing and we're going to have a nice relaxing night. The dogs are tired now. They've been roaming around all day. They're just laying around right now, which is perfect because they've been barking all day. And um, yeah, that's the plan for tonight. But first I need to find me something to cook and then I'm going to put the coals on the burner. Okay, I see some Key West Pink frozen shrimp. I'm trying to see if they got some noodles that I can make and make that go. Cheese little pasta if there's some sauce. Okay, pasta might be out of the question because I don't think they got any um, sauce. Hmm. Now that I can make some curry shrimp and rice. There's some rice noodles up here. Okay, I'm gonna do rice noodles. Okay, so I have everything that I could possibly need. I'm going to make some curry rice noodle and shrimp. That's what I'm gonna make. So I'm going to go ahead and cut up some. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some peppers and onions. And I'm also gonna throw a mushroom in there because I don't know if y'all know the cookie, but I've been cooking with mushrooms a lot um, more lately. And I don't know, I just like it. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's the taste. I think it's just the idea of me cooking with mushrooms. <laughs> and me feeling like I've elevated my, like, chefing skills or whatnot. So, yeah. I'm also going to throw some spinach in there. I think that's going to be so good. Oh, my God. I'm going to go ahead and cut up these peppers. I kind of want them to be long and big actually but since i'm literally just making a a plate for one i'm gonna be very frugal with the veggies because i doubt i'm gonna eat this tomorrow oops so yeah i kind of want my veggies to be long big because once you saute them, they simmer down anyways. I'm also going to try to do a reels right now as well. So here we go. Trying to multitask again. Okay, so I went on and I seasoned the shrimp and peppers and onions and mushrooms. I only seasoned it with smoked paprika, some chili powder, some white ground pepper, and some salt. So I'm going to pour that in a little pan right now. And let that do its thing. I kept it simple because the curry is definitely enough seasoning on its own. Now I'm about to put this stuff back in the refrigerator. Clean as we go. Clean this is next to the hobby. Is it the way? these really cute bowls from Crate and Barrel. So cute with the chopsticks and everything. Like this is gonna be perfect for dinner. I got another nasty freaking just like me. Come on now. I'm gonna beat the high score. Is it the way? Come on now. Come on now, Y'all gotta see this. She just irks my soul. Hey. Is it the way? way, way, way? Whatever. You love me. And I'm going to close it back up. Let it do its thing. Oh, 
kick my ass. That lady gonna kick my ass if I don't get that up. I'm literally so freaking stressed out. Doesn't make any darn sense, boy. Okay, so they had some Don Julio Repasado um, in the cabinet. I think this is so cute. I have to find out where she got this glass from. Because this is so cute. Actually, it says, or refers Sweden. I don't know. I'm going to have to ask her. Because this is this blue crystal part. Oh, that's just too cute. So, yeah. I'm drinking Don Julio Repasado. Where's the brush? tequila based tequila based style old fashioned so i just y'all i love this house i love coming here i love staying here it's just oh so amazing but but they have this uh old fashioned mix that's already pre-made i'm literally just going to take about a shot glass of it a little less than a shot glass okay i'm probably gonna do about a shot glass of it yeah i'm eyeballing it I'm not a bartender, y'all. I literally just do what the ancestors tell me to do. I just be listening to my spirit, okay? <laughs> and then, and then I'm gonna take the small part of the measuring and use the Maggiano cherry. Mm. Just a little bit. Look, just a little bit. And I'm gonna coat the rim with the brown sugar. Normally, I would use like lemon juice or something to coat the rim, but today I just used water. I literally just used water. But if I would have used lemon juice or something like that, it would have coated it more, but the water is doing just fine right now. I'm gonna save that for later because I know that's not gonna be my last drink. Okay, now I'm gonna literally. Oh, I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lime. I don't know what it do. It just, it just do something to me. It just do something to me. Now we're just gonna shake it up. Shake, 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 shake. literally just been enjoying my own company lately literally hey look at that look at that look at that look at that <laughs> y'all i am special do you hear me i just know that's gonna be good and the measurements came out perfectly look at that this came out perfectly this looked like it would be this is a cocktail that you would get at like a cigar lounge you know you know with all the rich black beautiful men and i'm just pouring the rest of the syrup in there so it can sit at the bottom and bam look easy breezy beautiful cocktail ah! so yeah the only thing that's in here is don julio reposado some old-fashioned mix and the margiano cherry syrup and some lime juice Shake that up, shake it, 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 and you got your cocktail. Let's taste it. This is my first time making it, but I know it's gonna taste good because the ancestors tell me so. Mmm. Mmm. I swear. I'm special. I'm special. I'm gifted and special. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Oh, this looks so good. It's curvy shrimp peppers, mushroom, onion, and rice noodles and spinach. Too good. I feel like I'm literally at a restaurant and all of this is free. This would typically cost you. Okay, so this cocktail off rib is $20. Okay, $20 cocktail. This right here, 
$24. So this is $20, $24, $45 plus tip. This is a $60 meal right here. Oh, uh, a $60 meal. <laughs> right at home. Plus the hookah. Oh, the hookah. What? It depends on where you at. $30 to $60 for hookah. So this is what? $60 plus $60, $120 tab. Plus tip. A little bit extra. So I save about $135. $135 at home. You just saved $135. Child. Ooh, spicy too. That curry, real spicy, y'all. I'm having a hard time eating it because it's so darn spicy. I was not expecting the curry to be that darn spicy. I'm so glad I didn't add any other spices in it because, baby, I don't necessarily want a fat. Today, y'all, I was so messed up. All day today, I was dragging my feet, messed up, toe up in the bathroom, throwing up, doing the most. Last night, what was it at? I think we probably done had about, I think I made about eight cocktails last night. And it wasn't just no regular cocktails. They were triple shot cocktails. That's a lot. I, I probably could have hurt myself for real, for real when I, now I'm thinking about it. But, mmm. I'm over here at my girl Chelsea's house. She had made some dinner. So we eating before we head out. And I'm definitely feeling this hat. And my outfit is cute. This is the same outfit that I showed y'all in the last vlog. Boohoo haul. Dinner on dinner. I went on ahead and I taped booze up. Got on my gold chain from Icebox. My gold ring from came right now my earrings from Anna Louisa and my bag and some white shoes it's giving what it needs to be yeah. it's definitely giving um early 2000s vibe the negroes is outside not the negroes no the negroes they are outside do they dress nice here the men Girl, we are in the hood now, Jackie. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm you don't know where you at. I don't. Where are you from? Where do you live? I'm from here. I live in Georgia. Girl, we is in, in the... It ain't sexy. Ain't no I mean, you like, ugh, niggas. Put it in my motherfucking face. Shove it down my motherfucking throat, nigga. Hey. Why you keep saying that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Cause can't nothing fit in my mouth anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, 
Shane. Yeah. <laughs> Sound like little mama. What's your name is? Oh, she want to say. What's my name today? Candy. Candy? What's your name, Candy? Okay. No, we no. didn't know that sound fake. Okay, what's your name? Roxy. For the moment I wake up. Ooh, can my name be Roxy? My name for the night, for the evening, for the hour <coughs> is Tori. It's given what it needs to Where bitch is it? Who? Oh, oh I'm coming in. <laughs> oh, we in oh, fact. Who is that? Nikita. Nikita, Nikita. Here we go. Right. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yesterday was Monday. I needed to recover. Today, I needed to recover. But um, I'm out running errands right now. I woke up this morning. I went in my mom's room for like 10 minutes. Came back. The big dogs, one of the big dogs, already opened the door to the guest bedroom. Grabbed my sandals. And chewed them things up within all a matter of like 10, 15 minutes. My white shoes that I just wore with my outfit the other day are... Um, yeah, all types of messed up. So, I came out because, um, I need to get some hair color, some black hair color, because I have to color my mom's wig. And I'm also going to color my hair. Hopefully that helps with, like, that light, um, spot of mine. And, uh, I'm thinking I'm going to add some tape-ins in my hair tomorrow. So, I need to order me some. I'm going to just try to order some off of Amazon to see if I can get here by tomorrow. I want to do, like, some long tape-ins. But I think that'll look really cute if I color my hair black. So, yeah, I need to go to the beauty my store to get that stuff. And then um, I am at Greenbird Mall to see if I can find me another pair of cute little white shoes from like H&M or something. I don't know. We'll see. Y'all, I'm in heaven right now. Literally in heaven right now. These are so cute. Ew. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. I never learned how to play hard to get. If I was interested, I'd just text. Nobody told us about all these rules. You have to wait a couple days or they think you're death. Pret. How guys don't like clingy girls but also don't want to be your best friend. And relationships aren't really relationships if you're not going to have sex. Situationship is sex without the commitment. And now they're called entangle men and they're all supposed to make sense. I mean, you're not even supposed to have expectations. Now that's just entitled men. It's every man for himself. Loyalty and trust hanging on by a thread. You take what you can get and hope you don't have any regrets. <laughs> Bye. 
Hi, everybody. The people be wondering where she's at. Someone had commented underneath my Instagram picture two days ago. I was like, where's your grandma? Right beside her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm leaving out today. And how long are you staying? Tomorrow. You leaving tomorrow? Tomorrow. You going back home? Yes. Yes. Yeah. No. Oh. Mm. You look pretty. Oh, I did our makeup today, too, y'all. Yeah, look pretty. Oh. <laughs> I did her makeup too. She looked good. She looked pretty. <laughs> Very natural, subtle, you know, little blush there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That's the vibe. Oh, I wish I had those eyeballs. That make no sense. <laughs> you can move around if you want. <laughs> oh, suck it, suck it. <laughs> Leave me alone, chat. Yeah. <laughs> are matching. Oh, blue. Mm -hmm. See you next time. Love you. Mwah. Mwah. Say bye. Oh. Come here, Grandma. Bye. We gotta get the. We gotta get a. Mwah. 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 Come on the other side, Grandma. We gotta get oh. a, a. This is like a our picture. Mm -hmm. I made in the first 60 days of real estate and how much it actually cost to become a realtor. And before we really get started, go ahead and help me knock the dust off this channel because you know it's been a while, honey. See my days are cold without you. So many tears after all these years